Hello guys, today I'll be talking about five reasons why I love Rush. Now, Rush is one of my favorite bands, definitely at least within the top ten. Not sure what my top five would be, but I wouldn't be surprised if they would make it in my top five if I was really pushed to make a top five. But yeah, definitely my favorite when it comes to prog music. But yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and dive into these five reasons. And the first reason I want to talk about is that they have no bad albums. Now, of course, you can say that with other bands, but what makes it pretty interesting with this band is that they managed to experiment with other sounds and styles throughout their career while also managing to not make a bad album, in my opinion. Now, some fans don't like Hold Your Fire and maybe even Test for Echo and Vapor Trails, but... I like those albums, and I think they're pretty underrated too, especially Test for Echo. I really like that album, especially with songs like the title track, Driven, Time in Motion, Resist, Color of Riot, many great songs on that album. But anyways, my next reason is that they execute multiple musical styles fairly well. And this is just my opinion, you don't have to agree, because I know some people don't like the synth, the synth era, you could say, which is of course in the 80s, about like 82 to like 87, 88. But um, yeah, I thought they executed that style of synth rock or progressive synth rock or however you want to put it. I thought they executed that sound pretty well. And of course they did that very well with progressive metal too. Or not progressive metal, progressive rock. And of course, in the late 80s and slash early 90s or pretty much the whole 90s they were more straightforward hard rock and i thought they executed that sound pretty well too especially with their album counterparts but yeah definitely another reason i wanted to put in these five reasons but the next reason reason number three is neil pert now, definitely a talented guy, definitely a highlight in the band, rest in peace to him, of course. But yeah, definitely a really talented drummer, he can get really technical, but also will make a pretty impressive simple drum patterns too, but yeah, definitely a talented guy, and he even contributes a lot to the lyrics too, <laughs> and Usually when it comes to bands, it's usually the guitar player and the, and the singer that do most of the lyrics, but in this case, it's a little bit different, but yeah, Neil Peart, definitely one of the best drummers out there, and again, rest in peace. My next reason is that they don't lose touch of what makes them what they are with their albums. Now, some point people might make the uh, the argument that Hold Your Fire sounded maybe a little bit too different for Rush, making it feel like not feeling like them anymore, but I don't know. I like I like Hold Your Fire. You can still hear Alex Lifeson in the album, even due to the amount of synthesizer work in that album. You can still hear Alex Lifeson in that album. It still feels like him. And of course you have Getty's voice too, which still feels like Getty Lee. But, I don't know, I think Hold Your Fire is a pretty underrated album. But yeah, this was a reason that I did definitely want to mention. But my final reason is their albums still sound great when you listen to them now. Now, with certain bands, you can maybe say that certain albums or even all their albums might not age well my opinion when i think of bands that have music that has been aged well i can think of bands like power man 5000 or uh, crazy town and many others but i think rush still sounds great to this day given both their older albums and their modern albums but yeah even their 80s stuff i think is aged decently now some people might say that hold your fire sounds pretty dated but I still dig that album today, personally, but I don't know, I get that album's not for everybody, but I personally dig it. And same with Power Windows too. I think that's a really underrated album. Definitely within my top 10 favorite Rush albums. Probably not top 5, but at least top 10 for sure, or top 8 or whatever. But yeah, definitely another reason I wanted to mention, but anyways, let me know if you can think any more reasons 
why we love Rush, and let me know favorite songs, least favorite songs, favorite albums, least favorite albums, and all that good stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching, please give a comment, like, subscribe, have a nice day, and take care.